So today I have the best 32 inch monitor you can buy for your M1 or M2 Mac right now. Yeah, I'm sticking to it. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So today's a little bit different. As you know, my videos, I usually do what they call you know, showcases, product showcases. I showcase the product. I say, make your own decision on this. I don't do full product reviews. I'm not super, like I don't get into the technical weeds. There's websites out there you can find. You can go to the website over there and find it. But this is actually, this is the BenQ PD3220U monitor right here. And I'm stating that this is the best M1 or M2 Mac monitor that's a big screen like this, 32 inch, that you can buy right now. And I'm gonna tell you why. And I'm gonna tell you what really changed my mind versus getting into the weeds of all the stats and everything. I think that's more important in this video, right? I'm gonna go through some of the weeds, so stay tuned for that and some of the stats and everything really quickly at the beginning. But then I'm gonna kinda of tell you exactly what made this like a game changer for me and for everyone out there. If you don't like all the technical details of calibrating monitors and all this other stuff that you have to do to get monitors to look the best, they could be the best, but if you don't tweak them a certain way, they don't look right, this is not that monitor. This monitor is perfect. This monitor is perfect out of the box. And I'm gonna explain what they did to do that and why it just was just like how easy and how it just basically so refreshing for a monitor now and how it just works perfect as soon as you plug it in. So, and I'm not gonna get into all the ways you can plug it in. I'm gonna do the, tell you exactly the way I did it, exactly the computer I had and how it worked perfectly. And then you can make your own decision, do your own research and we'll get into the video. And you know, at the end of it, I hope you'll kind of see my point that this is probably the best 32 inch out there. All right, really quickly, just some of the really, really basic stats on this thing. It's gonna be 32 inches, it's 4K, all right? This is 16-9 um, aspect ratio, it's an IPS screen, anti-glare screen as well. And then it's Thunderbolt 3, so it's got a whole bunch of ports which we'll get into, but it does have Thunderbolt 3, which is great. It can charge your device and everything like that. And this Again, this is made for Macs. This is a great monitor made for Macs. You gotta keep that in mind. And then it basically says that it's 100% sRGB, 100% Rec. 709, 95% P3, all this stuff. Now, the cool thing about this monitor that I wanted to kind of touch on is one of the reasons why I love this thing so much, all right? So, and I'll show you examples of this playing 4K in a second and all that other stuff that comes with it. But in this box, it comes with a little sheet of paper here, and it's a calibration specific to your exact monitor here, right? See this? And I'll show you close-ups. BenQ actually took this exact monitor, not this model, but this exact monitor, and they calibrated it. And not only did they calibrate it to work as if it would just be good colors out of the box, but they did the colors to match perfectly the MacBooks, all right? So when you plug this thing in, the colors, and I'll show you some close-ups between this and the MacBook, the colors, the you know, how vibrant this is. Now this is only rated at peak brightness 300 nits, all right? So it's not gonna be the brightest panel out there in a, in a room like I'm in or another room, even with some light, it's fine. But it's super nice compared to, it's. I, I actually think it's better than my MacBook screen, all right? I look at it compared to, and it's better, I think it is. And I, you know, I showed my wife, I showed a whole bunch of people, and they are blown away by it. So it's not 5K, and I'm used to a, you know, this is coming from somebody used to a 5K screen over there. This is only 4K, but the size of it and the distance I sit from, you know, maybe a foot and a half is just perfect. Now this thing's a huge beast. You can see it sitting right here. But the beauty of this thing is, is it's got a stand that can handle this, all right? The stand is very heavy. I think the whole thing with the stand is about 24 pounds, somewhere in that range. But you can tilt this, it, this thing will move. Let me just see if I can do it. It moves up, it moves down. Now I got it all screwed up. It moves up and it moves down. It'll move side to side. It'll move forward, backwards. It'll move any direction that you want it to. It'll actually flip to be full screen portrait mode as well. And I'll show you some close-ups of that, which is great for uh, just browsing the web and stuff. It's incredible if you have, you know, if you want to look at massive amounts of real estate on a screen. So it's perfect for all of this, all right? So the, the stand is perfect. It's full metal construction on the bottom and the back. It's really heavy. There's some plastic on it, but um, overall, you know, it, it is what it is, all right? That's perfect. It doesn't, you don't have to get too much into the weeds on that either. The ports now, the ports, there's just tons of them. It's actually a KVM hub. It's a Thunderbolt 3 cable that I use to connect to my MacBook. That'll charge your MacBook for you. It's also got a whole bunch of USB ports. It's got a port for this puck, which we'll get into in a second. It's got two HDMI ports. It's got a DP in port. It's got, uh, again, uh, USB-C and Thunderbolt uh, ports. So it's got a whole bunch of stuff, and I'll show you close-ups of that. But that's not what this is all about, all right? This is a monitor that you would pick up. Now, Now we've all heard the, the saying out there, like a ton of people always came back. And I'll show you, there's a couple good people to watch on this. Now, I'll put a video maybe up here or something. You can take a look at this video here, right? Just I'm just giving them a plug. But a lot of people talk about how the Mac algorithm works with 4K monitors. It's the 4K monitors don't work well with the Mac, right? They say that it's gonna be blurry text. The reason for it is the way it scales. So, you know, Macs are usually good with 5K monitors or the retina displays on the MacBooks that they have themselves because that's half the resolution. But when you get into like 
like in between those numbers. Sometimes it doesn't look right or doesn't render correctly. And those are a lot of weeds, right? Again, you can go into that video and check that out. I'm here to tell you that this is what I did, all right? I took this out of the box, and BenQ has that thing, like I told you, where it matches your Mac's display right off the bat. So what I did is I just took this out of the box, I took the USB-C cable, I plugged it into the back of the monitor, I plugged it into my Mac, uh, MacBook Air, M1 MacBook Air, into the USB-C sort of port or Thunderbolt port back there, and it instantly came up like this, all right? Now, the beauty of this thing is, is it worked instantly. The colors were perfect out of the box. I didn't even have to change the screen to go in and, and do stuff. Everything worked perfectly. Now, when it actually came to me, there's a couple little settings you do have to change, right? And this is where I was worried. So it came and it, it automatically configured it to only 1080p. And I was like, this is a little unusual. Well, you just have to go into your Mac. You're gonna see that there's gonna be a whole bunch of different settings in here, but there's gonna be the default size of text here. And then there's a couple other sizes. And what I did is I actually went and I clicked on the one that is 3,008 times 1692. So 3,008 times 1692. And I clicked on that one. It is the perfect size for me on the, on the screen here. Everything, all the text and everything is crystal clear. Um, I'm never gonna look back. I mean, you can try the other settings in there just to kind of make them different sizes. But I moved it from 1920p up to that 3,000 and everything is perfect. I mean, it looks so crisp and the text is crisp, the videos are crisp. I can't complain. I mean, I literally cannot complain about one thing on this thing. So if you're worried about some, you know, if you're worried about the resolutions not working, if you're you know, the colors, you have to calibrate everything, this thing comes pre-calibrated for your Mac. Everything out of the box is so easy that I had it set up in five minutes. And that's the key here. So you're gonna be paying a little bit extra now. Now this thing is a little bit high as far as cost, you would say, but I don't think it is, right? Let me explain. It's about $9.99 um, sometimes on their website, but there's a 10% discount code. I'll give it, I'll put it in my description. This is about $9.40 something, $9.49 on Amazon right now, but there's always some sales and stuff like that. So you're gonna say, why would I pick this up besides a studio display? When, why in the world would I be picking something like this up when I can pick up a studio display for $15.99? Well, first of all, that's six or 700 bucks more, number one. This is way bigger. Bigger. This is a 32 inch screen. You can put four screens up easily on this thing and they all look beautiful. I'll show you some examples of that, but it's just unbelievable how, you, how much real estate is on this thing. When, when you change the resolution like I did down there, you wanna make sure you change it there um, so that you get a little bit more screen. You can even make it more real estate, but then you can't see the text. So that's the important thing is to kind of get that sweet spot there. So overall, that's the main difference. And the colors here and I come from a 5K Mac that, that I just can't tell much of a difference. They're just beautiful and the text is clear and I just, usually when I go to 1080p, I just can't take it because 5K is so much better, but I can barely tell the difference here. So when you're dealing with that $500 price, $600 price difference, you're really dealing with the fact that um, you, you can't really tell much of a difference, trust me. It's just that good of a monitor. And then one of the things you also get with this is this little puck here, and I'll show you some close-ups of it. But to tell you the truth, it's something that it, you can set it up and you can change the brightness on the screen and the various things like that using the puck so you don't have to reach behind the monitor, which is really nice. You can also preset different settings on it. You can change the color modes. It has a different bunch of color modes. We'll get into that. But overall, I don't even use this thing. It was so easy to set up. It started working right out of the box that I never actually got to use this that much. So I plugged it and I tried it. I'm fine with it. It's something that, again, I'm not a very complicated person. So if you like this kind of a thing, it's there. But for me, it didn't even matter because at the end of the day, I cared about the resolution in the screen and my eyes and how good it looks for content and, and, and 5K, 4K videos you can see here. They're beautiful on the screen. Everything about it, website browsing. Um, I did you know, tons of real estate for my video editing. You name it, this screen works perfectly. So these extras are just great extras, you know, but you don't really need them. They're there if you like them. Um, you know, it's a great feature, maybe worth, you know, 50, 60 bucks extra or something like that. Just wanted to show it's there, but it's not a huge feature of this monitor. Now in the box itself, it came, it did beyond the puck, it did come with the USB or Thunderbolt 3 cable, Thunderbolt 3 cable came with, um, let me just see here, display port cable, it came with an HDMI cable, it came with a whole bunch of different cables and you can read what that is in the box as well. There's a whole, you just go to the website and take a look at it. So it comes with a lot of different things if you need different connections. But again, I didn't, I didn't test any of that stuff. What I'm telling you right now is if you have an M1 or an M2 Mac, you plug it into your USB-C port there or your Thunderbolt port, you plug in with the Thunderbolt cable they gave you into this device over here and uh, it's gonna come up perfect colors, perfect everything, except for the resolution like I told you, you have to up, up it. Um, and I got into what that was earlier in the video if you're just catching it here, so go back to that and take a look at that. But beyond that, it's up and running in just two minutes and, and working perfect. 
All right, besides the Mac mode, they do have some other modes like animation mode, I think's in here. There's a CAD mode, there's a dual view mode. There's a whole bunch of different modes that you can go through. But again, it's all factory calibrated so that it works. You have a specific document showcasing your specific monitor there. So there's no problem with that. But like I said, I use a Mac, I plug this in, I want it to look just like my Mac, you know, as far as color accuracy and everything like that. Perfect out of the box, so I didn't change a thing. This also does have speakers. They're two by two watts, I believe, um, but I use the ones just out of my MacBook when I plug it in. So there's no reason to usually use those unless you absolutely have to. They're there if you need them, but they're not the best. On this side of the monitor over here, you do have a headphone jack and then a couple of USB-C and a USB-A port. You can go ahead and charge things off of this thing. You can do whatever you want off of here just because of the fact that this is works like a hub, the back as well. So that's a nice feature to have. Um, obviously the whole monitor is made out of plastic, but like I said, the stand is metal. On the back of it, there is a cable management little screw there, which or a little clip or something you can put your cables through. But um, you know, again, those are the weeds and I'm just kind of talking about the overall monitor. All right, so this is the BenQ PD 3220U monitor, 32 inch 4K HDR, matte screen. And it's something that works with Macs. And let me, again, one last time explain this. If you have a MacBook M1 or M2, you plug it in with your USB-C cable into the back of this using the Thunderbolt 3 cable. It comes up, colors match perfectly, no fooling around. That gives you all this calibration stuff. And if you're not that technical, don't worry about it. You just have to plug it in and it's gonna look this good. It may not even look that good there because I had to adjust the colors and everything. It's hard to kind of convey it. Make sure you change the resolution like I told you to that 3000 whatever by whatever. I'll put it up here on the screen so you can see it. And uh, that's the resolution that works perfect for me sitting about a foot and a half away from it. It does have that, that color mode that matches the Mac, like I said. So, um, you know, that's all there is really I wanted to tell people now. The, the price justification, this is expensive at 900 and something bucks, right? 949 bucks. Maybe you can pick it up for 900 with a 10% off coupon at BenQ or 899 or something, but it's worth it. And it's worth it because of the fact you cannot get a monitor that's this big right now, that's not 6K like the, the advanced, not, not the studio display, but the one above that. You know, that's I think five or $6,000. This one's not, this one's, you know, gonna be around 900, 950. And the colors are perfect. You know, obviously the only complaints I have on it, maybe it could be slightly brighter, but it's bright enough for my, my uses for sure. Um, and uh, you know, a couple of the cables may not be the right length and stuff, but the, the stand is perfect, you know, the, 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 the hub is perfect, everything built into it works really well. So you can tell that I like this, and I just want, I very, I almost never get a product where I'm like, I want this, you know, to use this product from the day one I got it, all right? So when I get these things, I get so many technical products, I usually, you know, test everything, and then I go ahead and eventually I'll, you know, put them somewhere and I'll sell them or something, because I don't need all this stuff. But this one's gonna be replacing my other monitors and it's because I just never thought it was possible to be this clear. I've heard all these horror stories of people using 4K monitors and I'm not working on Macs and stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you like it works for me. I mean, maybe my eyes are not the best, but but at the end of the day, I you know I do work on a 5K and it was just a beautiful experience if you just want a 4K 32 inch now just that resolution and you're gonna be happy as you know, you've ever been and uh, that 850 or 900 bucks that you spend is gonna seem like a bargain. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys like this. I mean, again, I'm sorry I didn't get into the weeds of this. I just wanted to say like, this is a different experience for me because like, we all can figure out all the technical stuff out there. It's not that important, but what's really important is the experience, right? Were you frustrated using it? Were things, you know, did you have to calibrate things? You don't know what you're doing. Is it over your head as far as technology? None of that on this, none of that. It just works out of the box and works the way it should. And it's beautiful and huge. So if you want to do like multi-screens or, you know, you know, H, you know, four screens, five screens at once, this can handle it at that resolution. No problem at all. Huge timelines on your 4K videos when you're editing. So perfect monitor. That maybe is the perfect cost. We wish it was a little bit cheaper, but what can you expect, right? For the money right now, it's the best that they have out there. We'll talk to everybody soon. Again, my channel is Craig Nidell. Peace.